The performance of angle modulated systems will begin with our discussion with a block diagram. Here we have our, our receiver, a phase modulated or frequency modulated signal. And we're going to add noise to it. And this is primarily due to the atmosphere. AWGN stands for additive white Gaussian noise. Additive because we're adding the noise to the, our received signal. White meaning it has a flat frequency spectrum and Gaussian because it has a probabilistic distribution that is normal or a bell-shaped curve and the N stands for noise. Coming out of this uh, summer which consists of both angle modulated signal or received signal and the noise added to this received signal we have at the input is a pre-detection bandpass filter which captures the carrier signal that contains the noise. The output of this bandpass filter will be denoted as R1 and it's going to be an input to a bandpass limiter which limits the amplitude variations coming out of the pre-detection bandpass filter. If you have some amplitude variations coming out of this it's going to limit be limited by this bandpass limiter such that it does not induce any angle errors due to amplitude variations. Next we have an angle demodulator which extracts the message signal from the embedded angle signal that's embedded in the carrier. We're going to denote that as either at the output of this angle demodulator as YPM or YFM. And then we're going to pass it through a post detection low pass filter so we can grab our message signal from the angle signal, angle information from the carrier. Now the key aspect of an angle demodulator is a slope detector where we take a derivative of the carrier signal so what it does it forms the case such that at the output of this angle demodulator, demodulator you have both AM and an FM signal and that's primarily associated with frequency modulated carrier signals and so this is the block diagram when we analyze the performance of this angle modulated system with noise. Again we have a pre-detection stage and a post-detection stage. The post-detection coming out of the low pass filter is our where our message signal is going to be used to deliver the information. If it's an audio signal it's going to be delivered to a speaker for example. 